Are they happy when they see you guys? Yes. yes. What do they do? They went, they wag their tails and they whine and Tori barks and Bella just looks at you like, hey, where's my toy? I want to play with you right now and just things like that. I'm Diane Pierce, the president and founder of Senior Dogs for Seniors. Um, we do take in dogs of all ages and adopt to people of all ages, uh, but it is our mission to place older dogs with older people. When you have uh, worked with um, rescue for years, uh, you, you think that uh, you're so experienced that you've heard it all, there wouldn't be anything that would shock you. Um, but there was a day when a lady called my intake coordinator, Amanda, and said her home had burned down and she was living in her car with her three Yorkie dogs and would we take the dogs? And Amanda said, well, of course. And, uh, and so uh, that's how we get uh, these dogs into our rescue. Uh, my name is Julia and this is Tori and she's eight and I've had her since April. And Tori didn't have, um, she had big patches of hair missing on her back and then on her legs was just really sparse and her um, head, so um, she's really, her hair is really filled in a lot and she's, they're both very healthy. Yeah, as you can see. Uh... And I'm Amy, this is my daughter Kirsten, and this is the dog that we adopted, and her name is Bella. Um, I know when we first adopted Bella, um, her all of her hair had fallen out because of the fleas and stuff like that, so at that time they told us when we brought her outside, we had to make sure that she had um, sunscreen on so she wouldn't get sun, or so she wouldn't get sunburn. She said that we had a sweater on her to make sure that her skin and stuff, and now it's she looks nothing like she did when we first got her. I have to tell you guys, when we arrived here today, I did not recognize these dogs. <laughs> I did not think these were <laughs> the dogs you adopted from us. They look so wonderful, so different. How did you find our rescue? Um, we were out looking for a dog and I had Kirsten with me and Amy called and said that she knew that Petco in Kirkwood was doing adoptions. So we said, well, we'll go by there and see if we can find something that, you know, you fall in love with. So we walked in and she was looking at dogs and she just kept walking back over to the little area where Bella was. And she picked her up and as soon as she picked her up, she goes, this is the dog I want, Aunt Julie, this is who I want. I want her. So um, we got her a week later and we went to pick her up a week later at the Petco in Arnold. Her foster mom said she has two other sisters because there were three girls that were adopted at the same time. So um, we looked online, but we only saw the one picture. We went to Petco the next day. I went to Petco and then I found her. So we got the dogs uh, two weeks apart, I believe. Uh -huh. So, yeah. In the week that we had to wait, I don't think that week, those days, could have gotten here any sooner. <laughs> no. <laughs> the kids were both really excited. So, shopping for the little sweaters and the bows and all the <laughs> outfits. And I think this dog is starting to have a bigger wardrobe than we are. <laughs> Did you play outside with them ever? What do you do outside? Well, we play them outside too. We do that a lot. Do you um, throw a ball? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she, but they don't. They the don't balls. Change. The we balls are out, too we, big. We take her outside and she will have her toy right in her mouth, ready to go outside and play. She'll be wagging her tail and She'll start whining and she'll jump on you and they just get really excited once they go outside and it's like they're free. 